Pac-12 country. We got the Pac-12 coming up. Who do we got winning the Pac-12 and the dark horse to compete in the Pac-12? Um, you know, I'm swinging for the fences. I'm riding the adrenaline wave. It's uh, it's probably a pick that a lot of people are picking because they think it's sexy, but in reality, most people are picking this. I'm going to go USC, honestly. I think that they've added a lot. I know that it's crazy to think that a team that was really below average last year could could do some winning this year, like, like at this capacity especially, but I think when you add probably the best offensive mind in college football as the head coach, well, one of the best quarterbacks in the nation transferring in from Oklahoma with him, and then you get Jordan Addison from Pitt, who's probably the top receiver in college football. I know that it sounds crazy, but the Pac-12 is so weak. That's what makes a transformation like that doable, is you can bring those guys in, and I, I honestly think USC is going to win the conference. I almost had to make my the original favorite that was Utah because they're bringing back some nice pieces as well. Cam Rising, the quarterback, super tough, can run, throw. I actually had to make them somewhat of my dark horse because they did lose a lot. So some people are kind of kicking them to the curb. But uh, I do think it'll be those two teams in the in the Pac-12 championship. But I do think USC is going to win. Who's your dark horse? It was going to be Utah. Utah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, definitely trendy picks. Um, I I – I thought about this, and it, it can you certainly make a case for a couple ways with Utah, USC. Um, but I am going to go with a surprise conference winner, and that's the Oregon Ducks. They're going to look to Bo Nix, transfer quarterback out of Auburn. No unfamiliar name to anybody who watches college football. Um, he arrives in Eugene with an up-and-down resume out of Auburn. Uh, but he's shown capable of making big plays in the SEC and so there's no doubt the talent's there. For me, the reason I'm picking the Oregon Ducks is it's straight up just Dan Lanning. I think that he is going to be the best X's and O's coach in the conference this coming year. No disrespect to, to Kyle over at Utah. Um, but I think he's going to outcoach everybody. And Oregon has the best front seven in the conference. Um, their defensive line is deep. It got even better from last year, which had, boasts a lot of NFL talent. And I just think the uh, the expectations and inconsistencies from Caleb Smith out of out of USC are just going to be proved to be too much to co- sort of keep them in a straight line. So give me the Oregon Ducks to win the conference, shock everybody. Um, and I, my dark horse is actually going to be UCLA. I, I like Dorian Thompson Robinson. Um, I expect them to win probably eight football games this year and maybe spoil somebody's college football playoff hopes. Pack 12 some good picks so far and we got we got similar i guess where i come in is a is a mixture of both of you guys so my pack 12 winner i'm taking the oregon ducks as well um i think their that bo nix arrival is going to be huge because he's now stepping into a less talented conference player wise i think he's gonna be pretty good he's gonna be pretty good there and they recruit really well, super athletes. I mean, they're kind of like a West Coast baby Alabama as far as recruiting goes. They tend to rip people away from the ASUs and USCs quite a bit. Um, so I'm taking them. I think they're going to make a splash. And Parker, like you were saying, it's it's one of those divisions or it's one of those conferences where small additions anywhere because it's such a bad conference. I mean, hell, the Washington Huskies might crawl out of the grave and hoist the crown. Like you never know. So. Um, I went with Oregon there just because I think they're going to have the consistency, the tradition, the high expectations and the money, obviously, to to recruit and pull some strings and get people to to keep winning over there. So I got Oregon as my conference winner and my dark horse is going to be USC. I think USC definitely gets it done. I think they improve. I think they're going to be good, not great, um, but just under great. I think they're going to fall under great because they're going to collapse a few games just with chemistry issues. But I do expect a new and improved USC with uh, something hopeful for them to possibly start top 15, top 20 um, year after next.